Hey guys, I just wanted to jump on here super quickly before this weekly mom vlog begins. The footage that you're about to watch, the first half of this vlog is actually from like over two weeks ago. I think it was like two and a half weeks ago that I filmed this, but I just completely forgot that I had this footage. It got lost with all my other footage and I didn't want it to go to waste. So I decided to include it in this week's weekly vlog. So just in case you're wondering why I have footage from like over two and a half weeks ago, it's because I completely forgot about it and I didn't want to just delete it. So decided to include it in this week's weekly vlog. So now let's just get into my weekly mom vlog. Hi, hi. Is it, what's today? My 100th day of school. This is Ryan's shirt for his 100th day of school. So everything ended up staying on. Do you like your shirt? Yeah. Yeah? Do you think all your friends are gonna like it too? Mm -hmm. Yeah, are you ready to go to school now? Yeah, look what I can do with the little beads. Whoa. All right, I gotta go get your sister. Maddie, you ready? We gotta come back home and get some breakfast, then you gotta go to therapy. Can you say hi? Say good morning. It's too early in the morning, what time is it? Seven, 7.48 right now. So I'm about to head out and come back home and get dressed, take Maddie to therapy. So it is Thursday, it is around nine o'clock in the morning. It's 9.40 to be exact. I'm sitting out in front of Madison's therapy. I feel like I start a lot of my vlogs out in front of Madison's therapy, but she has her second session um, today and Ryan is already at school. He was so excited this morning to go to school because it's the 100th day of school. I did vlog like a short, short clip of him this morning of him wearing his shirt. He loved his shirt. We worked on it a few days ago and every day this week he has been asking me if he can wear that shirt to school yet. And finally this morning I told him it was the day he can wear his shirt to school. Although I did pack him an extra shirt just in case um, he wanted to change because it did make a lot of noise. We um, glued a lot of like googly eyes on it. So it makes a lot of noise. Um, so I just packed him an extra shirt just in case he wanted to switch out. But I'm pretty sure he'll probably wear it for the entire day because he was so excited about that. But today I really don't have much planned. I going to go back home and clean up a little. The house is a disaster. I swear I feel like I'm always cleaning. Every day I'm doing something and I feel like the house still looks a mess. So I'm gonna do a little more cleaning today. I would like to clean the bathrooms, but I don't know if that's gonna happen because I also want to film a video. I know a lot of you guys requested for me to do another grocery haul video and how I meal plan and do my grocery shopping. So Thursdays, which is today is when I usually do that. I will plan out all of my dinner meals for the following week and write down my grocery list and everything. And then tomorrow, Friday is when I do my grocery shopping. So I really want to film that today for you guys. So I'll probably film a grocery like budget haul. I'll tell you guys how much I usually try to spend or what the range I usually try to stay in and how I meal plan for um, dinner for me and my family and stuff like that. So I'll probably film that. Then if I have time, I will film a um, cleaning video maybe. I don't know. I don't think I'll have time for that. But yeah, that is the plan for today. I really don't have anything else other than that planned for the day today. So let's see how much footage I get today. I also have my coffee. I've been buying coffee out a lot so today i decided just to make my coffee at home and it's still super hot so i gotta wait for it to cool down but anyways guys i will see you guys a little bit later i just want to jump on here quickly to say hi and let you know what's going to go on for today so it is much much later it is two o'clock right now but i want to show you guys my ipsy bag i used to always um do an ipsy bag on bagging but i feel like those videos didn't do very well so i stopped filming those but I thought I would just share with you guys in this vlog what I got from Ipsy. Sometimes I love Ipsy and I'm super excited with the things that I get. And then other months, I'm just thinking maybe I should just cancel it and try another subscription service. I've had Ipsy for a few years now and it's always like hit or miss for me. So this month, this is what the bag looks like. Super cute. I love it. Madison's not very happy right now, so I'm about to go through this super fast. One thing I really love, I don't know if this is just for the new year. Yes, it's new year, new products more focus on you. They never you should send a card explaining the products and what you got and what they do and all that stuff. There were so many times I would receive a product and I didn't know what it was and I didn't know where to get it or anything. So I'm happy that they have this card now. So they have all the products and they tell you a little bit about the products. So I'm happy that they started doing that. But a few things I got in my Ipsy bag was this mascara. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce it, but that's the mascara that I received. 
I haven't tried any of this out yet. I'll probably try it out sometime this week, but it has a really nice wand. I'm super excited to try this mascara because if you guys know me, I am obsessed with mascaras. Um, the second thing I got was this, the Balm. It's a blush slash shadow. So I guess you can use it as an eyeshadow or a blush. It looks like a really pretty color. I'm gonna try to swatch it for you guys. I like this color. I would definitely use it as a blush or maybe even an eyeshadow, but I think I would really like this as a blush. So that's how it looks. It looks really pretty. So I'm excited to try that out. The next thing I got was a nail polish. I don't know how I feel about this nail polish. I usually don't ever wear blue on my nails, but it's like a very, very dark like blue and then it has like kind of like glitter inside. I don't know, I might once my nails, so I now have Kiss nails on, once these nails fall off, I might just try it out and see how I like it. It might surprise me, but does it even tell you what color this is? The color says Williamsburg, or is that the name brand? I think that's the color, Williamsburg, but that's the nail polish I got. Then I got a face mask, and I feel like I've gotten so many pumpkin face masks, and I haven't tried any of them, but this one is a pumpkin turmeric mask, and it's a two-in-one radiating polishing mask. So that is how that one looks. Maybe I'll give it away just because I have so many little tubes like this that I haven't even tried yet. And then the last and final thing I got was this lip gloss, and it just says fluid. I'm usually not into like clear lip glosses like this. Maybe I can put it over like a lipstick or something. I don't know, but... And that's how the wand looks. So I will try it out, but I'm pretty sure I won't use it that much just because I don't really use clear um, lip gloss. But those are all the items I got in my Ipsy bag. Let me know in the comments if any of you guys received Ipsy, how you feel about it, if you like it. Sometimes I feel like I get the same products over and over again. So yeah, that's why I'm kind of thinking about um, just canceling it and maybe trying Birchbox or some other subscription. So that is what I got my Ipsy bag. I am now going to finish cleaning up a little. I did get some cleaning done. Let me take the camera off of here. Um, I did get some cleaning done. I cleaned all three bathrooms. I swept the house. I cleaned up the kitchen. There was dishes that needed to be put away from the dishwasher. And then I needed to clean the dirty dishes that were in the sink. So I did that as well. All the beds are made. Um, so yeah, I got I got a little bit of done. I'm pretty I'm being pretty productive today. I still have to vacuum and mop though. And then I also have to fold Madison's laundry. She has some laundry that's been sitting there since yesterday that I have not folded. So I need to do that as well. And that is it. I have to leave in like 20, 25 minutes to get Ryan from school. It's right now it's 206. So I'll probably leave like in 20 minutes to get him from school and see how his day was. Today was the 100th day of school, so he was so excited to wear his shirt. So I'm excited to hear how his day was because he was super excited also to have his um, trail mix as well. But also I need to buy a new journal. I have been writing in my journal again, like my little planner, not really a journal, it's a planner. And I bought this one last year from Walmart and I loved it. It kind of reminds me of the Aaron Conrad um, planner. It comes with like stickers and stuff and it has like different sayings. And I love it. I was using it for a while and then I stopped. I stopped for a while. I stopped for probably like a month or a little over a month. And I just started getting back into it. And it's keeping me um, much more organized and stuff. So I've been writing in it. I've been writing anything I have to do for that week. Like appointments. Um, things I just want to get done. I'm also writing down all my YouTube videos that I would like to film. I'm trying to batch film because that helps me out a lot. But I started writing in it. So... I don't know, just writing in a planner just makes me feel so much more organized. It makes me feel like I can get things done. I can just go in my planner and see what I have to do that day. So yeah, I have to, I have a bunch of videos written down to film. Um, I was supposed to film a few videos today. I think I've only pre-filmed like two videos. Thankfully last week I pre-filmed a lot, but Madison just hasn't let me do anything lately. She's like so cranky, but Anyways, I'm gonna stop rambling on. Madison's in the play area right now, so I'm gonna get her out and you change her diaper. Hi, honey, do you wanna say hi to everyone? You are so cranky. Now you're gonna play with Peppa Pig fun? She's obsessed with Peppa Pig. She's been obsessed with Peppa Pig since she was a baby. You like your phone? Hi. You're just crying, what's wrong? You just wanted mama, huh? Can you give kisses? Can you give kisses? Can you give everyone kisses? Say hi. Say hi. Hi, how was therapy? 
<laughs> let's, let's change your diaper. Let's change your diaper. And look, she's also had this Twizzler. <laughs> yeah, you won't give it to me. She's had that Twizzler little piece of wrapper for literally two hours and she won't give it back. You won't throw it away, will you? You won't throw it away. One out. Let's change your diaper. He's back home from school. Yeah, and I made a... What did he make? He I... has a cool hat on. He made that at school too? Yeah. And, and what's on your neck? Um, uh, um, a Fruit Loop necklace. A fruit Loop necklace. How was school today, buddy? Good. Good. And look, Madison is missing a shoe because she doesn't keep any of her clothes or shoes on. She's staring at brother because she wants his Fruit Loops, huh? Yeah. Did you eat all of your lunch today? Yeah. Yeah? Good job. <laughs> so what did everyone say about your shirt? I want to know. It, Go ahead, tell me. It was good. It was good. It was your best shirt ever. And it's freezing outside, so I have the fireplace on because it is freezing. Although I did put on the heater, but you got to take off your shoes. But when you take off your shoes, you remember, bring them upstairs, okay? I'm going to show you guys really fast so all the crap I just took out my car. Well, all the bottles I took out my car. So for a while, for a few days, I haven't been able to find a lot of the kids' um, little cups, sippy cups, not sippy cups, like their Contigo and Camelback cups. And I was asking Ryan, I was like, did you leave some at school? I cannot find them. I was looking all around the house. And today when I was driving around, I just kept on hearing things rolling around in the car. And I decided to go through the car and take everything out. There's like five water bottles, which... I'm guilty of all those water bottles and then like four or five of the kids cups that were left in the car no wonder I can never find their water bottles because they leave them in the car so I'm gonna show you guys all of the crap that was in my car and I'm going to show you real life of what happens when you're lazy and you don't take things out of your car and things just pile up so that's all their cups that were in the car one two three four five of their cups in my car and one, two, three, four, five water bottles. Why all that was in the car? I don't know, maybe because I probably should clean out my car more often. And surprisingly, there was only three toys in the car. Usually there's a ton, but there was only three cars, I mean three cars, three toys in the car, which is actually surprising. But this is kind of embarrassing that I'm showing you guys all the bottles that were in my car. But I guess that's mom life. The kids bring things in the car, don't take them out. And clearly, I also bring water bottles into the car and don't take them out. <laughs> hey guys, and welcome to another weekly mom vlog. It is currently a Wednesday. I am sitting in the parking lot. I am in the Plaza of Target. I have a few places to go. I'm actually gonna be filming another video today. I'm filming a Bath and Body Works shop with me and haul because I need to go into Bath and Body Works because I have not gone for a while and I'm in desperate need of some hand soaps. So I'm not going to vlog when I go into Bath and Body Works just because I will be doing a separate video for like a shop with me haul. So I am gonna go into Target and then also Dollar Tree, you guys. I have been binge watching the KonMari um, series on Netflix and now I want to go and organize my entire house. So I'm gonna go into Target and Dollar Tree see if I can find any good organizing bins. I do already have some organizing bins at home but I need a few more. So. I know you guys are probably sick and tired of coming with me into Target because I go literally every single week, but I'll probably still vlog when I go in there. I'll show you if there's anything new in the dollar spot section, and then I'm gonna go to Dollar Tree as well. I'm not sure if I'll vlog in Dollar Tree because I'm thinking about maybe doing another shop with me in there, but I'm not 100% sure. But I'm with Madison, Ryan's at school. Hi, honey. You gonna tell everyone that you've been eating all day? Say, I've been eating all day. Yeah. So she has been eating all day. I ran into Marshall's as well just now. And of course, right when we get to Marshall's, she starts like crying and whining. So I pulled up some snacks and she literally ate three snacks already. She had a granola bar. She had a little bit of um, pretzels. And then she had an applesauce pouch. And I'm pretty sure when we go into Target, it's gonna be the same thing. I'm gonna have to grab something. So I think the only snack I have left that I brought is like a cheese string. That's it. So I'm going to stop rambling on and I'm going to head into the stores. It's already almost noon and I have to be back home by 2 o'clock. So let's go into Target and Dollar Tree. So I'm currently in the like bin aisle section. And of course, all the ones I really want are these. Like the wooden ones, the liquid basket ones. And like, they have like metal ones too. This is a horrible angle of me showing you guys. That was the worst angle ever. But 
I really want those, but those are super oh, yeah, expensive. Yeah. Like just for this one, yeah. it's $18.99, $19 just for this. So mama ain't gonna spend that much money. So I'm gonna go with the plastic ones. They do have really cute colors, like gray and stuff, but I think I'm just gonna go with clear ones. I am still gonna go to Dollar Tree to get some bins, but I found this and it says it's only $7. Um, which I think was six dollars. No, six dollars. I think it's really good. It comes with all of that, and I thought it would be perfect to put all the kids' like craft stuff in because right now it's thrown in like one big bin and it's like falling everywhere. So I thought since it has different compartments, I can like separate everything. So that would be one good way of um organizing them. But I also need um some other organizing bins. I don't even know where to start. I actually need another one of these. I have one of these in one of my closets that I store all of my craft stuff, but one of the like little wheels broke off and I've tried fixing it like 10 times and it just, it won't, it won't stay on. It keeps on like falling off. So I'm gonna have to get another one of those, I think, I'm not sure. Or I'll just use the other one I have the kids craft stuff in. I'm not 100% sure. Oh, let's go down this aisle. But I just don't want to buy too many bins from here just because they are obviously a little more pricey than if you were to go to Dollar Tree. But Dollar Tree doesn't have cool stuff like that. So that's why I'm going to buy that here. But I'm going to keep on looking around. All right, you guys. So I want something like this for the kids' room, especially Ryan's room. Because I think this would be perfect to, like, um, organize all his toys. And I can put, like, one all of, like, his dinosaurs, all of his Legos and stuff. So I want something like that. But what are you saying? Huh? Are those chips good? Are they yummy? Are you almost done? I just gave you this bag and it's ready. Have we empty? Mm, yummy. Alright guys, so I'm now back in the car. Um, I did not do a shop with me at Dollar Tree just because they do not have anything new. I recently did a shop with me at Dollar Tree, like a Valentine's one. And they basically had the same exact items. I think maybe they had like one or two new things that I didn't see last time. But other than that, everything was the same. So it was pointless for me to film a shop with me with the same exact items in store. And then I didn't vlog in there just because I was trying to get in and out. I have to get back home. It is 1.13 to be exact. And I still want to stop by the other Dollar Tree by my house just because I specifically went to this Dollar Tree for bins and they didn't have anything. They had like scraps left. They had a few um, and all the ones they had left were like super bright colors, which I don't want. I want either like white, black, or like maybe like a gray color. I don't want anything bright. And then they were all super tiny. Like they were like little ones that you can probably put in your cabinet or something. So didn't have any luck there. I did pick up a few other things. I'll do like a little haul once I get home. I picked up only like a few items from Target and a few items from Dollar Tree. So I will do a haul once I get home and then my Bath and Body Works haul will be in a different video because I'm doing, I did do a shop with me for that. But yeah, so I'm just gonna head over to my side of town, probably like 20 minutes from my house and stop at the Dollar Tree over there. Although they never really have anything. Maybe I'll have some type of luck and find some bins there because that is what I came out for at bins and I bought everything but bins and I ended up not getting the bin from Target that I showed you guys that was really cool because it was in the wrong spot so there was a bunch in a spot that said um they were like six or seven dollars and I was like oh that's a really great deal six seven dollars for this um because I had a bunch of like different um compartments to organize things I thought it would be perfect to organize the kids like craft stuff but when she rung it up, that thing was like $15, $16. I was like, I'm not spending $16 on this little um, storage thing. If it was like a larger storage bin, I wouldn't have mind spending the $15, $16 on it. But it was small. It was like that small. You guys saw. Um, so yeah, I put that back. So I literally have not gotten any type of organizing bins. And I told my husband I was not going to go spending money. That I was just going to go out to get some storage bins and what have I done I've spent like I don't know how much money already and I haven't gotten the bins so I'm gonna go to the other Dollar Tree really quickly and see if I have any luck there and if not then I don't know I guess I'll just have to go to Walmart and see if I can get bins there but, but I won't be able to do that today I'll have to do that tomorrow so that is the update that is what I'm doing what are you doing? Oh my gosh. So this is what Ryan created. He grabbed a bunch of these like little straws that I have in the pantry. Somebody wants out. And he connected them all. 
into his water bottle. Yeah. Is it actually working? Are you able to get some water out? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, sometimes it drips. Sometimes it drips. That's a cool creation, buddy. You're very creative. Are you ready for martial arts? Yeah. Yeah? You excited? I gotta yeah. change Sissy's diaper Sometimes first. Sometimes I had to suck really hard to like I'm doing now. No. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. Are they funny? Are they funny, Maddie? Alright, where are we? At Domino's. Domino's? So you're gonna try some pizza? Yeah. With mozzarella? You're gonna watch some cook? Yeah. Yeah? I think Madison's pretty happy about pizza, too. How excited are you? Super. Do you have a good day at uh, martial arts today? Yeah. You're gonna sit in the chair. Do you need help? I got. We got. We're going to eat at Domino's. No, we're gonna bring the pizza home because we still gotta take a bath and stuff. Okay. Okay. Please, mom. Where are we? Are we at Domino's getting some pizza? Are you so excited? We're at Domino's, we're gonna get some pizza. No, 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 Maddie, you can't go back there. Um, we're gonna just get a pizza pie for dinner because I don't feel like cooking today dinner. So we're just gonna pick up pizza. Ryan has never had pizza because he's always been super picky. He's agreeing on frying some pizza tonight. So I do have some leftover chicken from yesterday, just in case he doesn't like the pizza and doesn't want it. He can have chicken and then I'll just have to figure out a side for him. But it's probably like 15 minutes until our order is ready. I just got a medium cheese pizza. I didn't put any type of toppings on it because I knew he wouldn't eat it if I got some toppings. But then we're gonna head home. It is almost six o'clock right now, so. All right, so it is a little after six and Ryan's going to try some pizza for the first time. So we will see how he likes it. Hopefully he does like it, because if not, that means I'm about to make him something else for dinner. So eat my pizza. Okay, try it. Uh, it's gonna be so delicious. a little delicious. bit of sauce I can see. Yeah. He doesn't really like sauce, so I said very light sauce. Um, I want to tell you something. What? Hurry, of course, Sissy gets this whole pizza pie and throws it on the floor because she's hungry. Uh, um, is there any pepperoni on here? No, it's just mozzarella cheese. No pepperoni. So where's the mozzarella cheese? It's right on top. It's it's, it's all of this. It's the, um, the, like, the... It's the brown parts. Yeah. All right. Take a bite. Mm. Madison. Yummy. <laughs> you don't like it? All right, guys. So it is mm. almost seven o'clock, which means the kids' bedtime will be in 30 minutes. Mm. So I'm just going to close with the vlog because I have a feeling mm. this vlog is going to be a very long one. I'm actually combining it with another vlog from probably over two weeks ago, but I just completely forgot about that footage that I had and I just don't want it to go to waste. So I'm just going to include it with this vlog. So the first half of this vlog you're going to see is actually from a little over two weeks ago. Like I said, I just didn't want that footage to go to waste. So that's why I included it with today's vlog. And yeah, that is going to end my weekly vlog for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed watching my weekly vlog. I'm trying to get a little better with vlogging because I kind of suck. And a lot of times I feel like my vlogs are boring or it's not interesting or I'm like home all day. Or sometimes I feel like it's repetitive as well. Like the things that I do, I'm always at Target. I'm always at martial arts. I'm always in carpool lane. So hopefully you guys still enjoyed it regardless. So if you did, remember to give my video a thumbs up. Also let me know in the comments any future videos you guys would like me to film. I have a bunch of videos like written down that I would like to film, but I wanna make sure that I am filming videos that you guys are enjoying. So let me know in the comments, what's your favorite video of mine that I filmed so I can film those more often for you guys. And also let me know if you're actually enjoying my weekly vlogs. This is new, I used to never really do this. I would vlog every once in a while and upload a vlog. And um, for 2019, this is just new. I just started doing like weekly vlogs where every week I have one vlog up. So let me know if you're enjoying that as well. So, so yeah, and now I'm just gonna close this vlog out before I keep on talking and make this video even longer than what it already is. So thanks so much for watching. If you have not already, please subscribe to my channel. It'll mean so much to me if you 
hit that red subscribe button and join me and my YouTube family. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.